Hi everyone, and welcome back to Inside Tech. Today's video features a pair of earphones that have been met with some fantastic reviews, and have been heavily requested on the channel by many of you. In fact, they've been so popular that for many weeks they were completely sold out and almost impossible to get hold of. These are the TrueConnect True Wireless earphones from RHA, the independent UK-based company who specialise in premium audio products. Some of you may remember my review of the MA650 wireless earphones. I was extremely impressed with the build quality and have since been keen to get my hands on the TrueConnect. The AirPods competitor offer a total of 25 hours of battery, a sweat and water resistant design, and fantastic audio quality. I've been using these for the past couple of weeks and have so far been seriously impressed. For those who saw my last review, I mentioned that these had the potential to dethrone Jabra's Elite Active 65T and become the new best true wireless earphones on the market. Let's take a look. So taking a look first at the charging case, this is easily one of the more elegant looking cases on the market. It's made using high quality metal and has RHA's signature soft touch matte finish. The only sad thing is that you'll quickly spoil this with your fingerprints. The case opens with a unique flip mechanism to reveal the earbuds, which makes using the case easy and simple. Three LEDs will display the battery level of the charging case, and will do so each time you open or close the case. And at the back of the case we have the USB-C port for charging. Overall, I really like the charging case's design. It's certainly one of the better looking charging cases, but it is on the larger and bulkier side too. The earbuds are held magnetically inside the charging case, so you don't need to worry about them falling out accidentally, and they charge through small contact pins on the underside of the earbuds. As soon as you remove the earbuds, pairing mode will start automatically, and a small LED will indicate the pairing status. Once you've paired with your iOS or Android device, the earbuds will automatically turn on and off with the charging case, and will also auto-pair with your device. The earbuds themselves also have the soft touch and rubberized matte finish over the exterior, and are sporting the small stem design we've seen with the AirPods, although these are obviously much more subtle. There are microphones situated on the interior, exterior, and of course at the bottom of the stem for enhanced voice quality during phone calls. There's also a small red dot on the inside of the right earbud to help distinguish them, and this corresponds to the inside of the charging case too. In typical RHA fashion, the build quality for the charging case is excellent, and this attention to detail is reflected in the earbuds too. There's just a single clickable multifunction button on the outside of each earbud, which is used for all of the music and phone call controls. A single press is used to play and pause using either earbud. Things then get a little more complicated, because on the right earbud, a double press turns the volume up, whilst a triple press turns the volume down. On the left earbud, however, the double press skips the track forward, and a triple press skips the track back. It might take you some time to get this fully figured out, and I suppose this is a consequence of having a control scheme on such small earbuds. Typically, we see features like volume control omitted, whereas here we have all of the necessary controls, but it is a little complicated. Personally, I don't think it's very practical to use triple taps with physical buttons. It's not especially comfortable to press the button since this pushes the earbud into your ear canal, although this was a lot more comfortable than most of the earbuds I've tested, and using double and triple presses for volume control is just asking for trouble. If you want to use just one earphone at a time, then you can only use the right side on its own, since this is the master earbud, but of course this does mean you only have access to volume control and can't skip tracks. I also found that if you press the buttons at the edges, then they can feel a little mushy, so you'll want to press directly in the centre. Fortunately the earbuds are intelligent enough, but if you're on a phone call, then the control scheme will switch so that either earbud will control the volume, since skipping tracks will obviously not be needed. Overall, I did like that I had multiple options with the control scheme, I just wish that I was able to customise the gestures to my own preference. What I really like about these earbuds though, is how quickly you achieve the right fit after placing them in your ears, with no need to keep twisting and turning to get a secure fit. The earbuds are lightweight and have a great shape design so that they don't feel bulky or obtrusive in your ears, and I found these comfortable to wear for prolonged periods of time. The profile of the earbuds is pretty shallow too, they're quite subtle and they don't stick out far from your ears. The seal I was able to achieve with the ear tips was absolutely perfect, which meant that there was almost no sound leakage at all, and also excellent passive noise isolation, one of the best from any true wireless earbuds I've tested. With this passive isolation, I was able to block out a huge amount of external noise and focus just on my music. It was like I was wearing active noise cancelling earphones, and in fact these even performed better than some of the ANC headphones I've tested before. I think that the shape of the earbud lends itself to achieving a secure fit in your ear, and with the large selection of ear tips, including the popular Comply Foam ear tips, there's a good chance that you'll be able to find a good fit too. But I should also state that your ear shape will help to determine how securely these will fit. Despite that great fit though, and much like other earbuds without wingtips or ear hooks, I probably wouldn't want to risk wearing these whilst running. 
Fortunately, if I did want to though, the True Connect come with an IPX5 water resistance rating, which means that they're protected against powerful jets of water. Now, these earphones aren't exactly designed with sports use in mind, and don't have any specific sports features, but having water resistance at least gives you that option, and the peace of mind that they'll be protected. When it comes to connectivity, the True Connect perform really well with the latest Bluetooth 5 technology, and are able to maintain an excellent connection to my phone even through multiple walls and obstacles in my house. They also performed really well in the line of sight test, so should offer great range in more realistic situations. The latency is also very low, and I was able to watch films on YouTube and Netflix on both iOS and Android without any problems. The battery life offered with these earbuds is also pretty impressive, with 5 hours of listening per charge, plus an extra 20 hours with the included charging case. Thanks to having USB Type-C, the earphones can be fast charged up to 50% battery in just 15 minutes, with a full charge taking under 2 hours. The only thing that I would say is that I noticed that the battery life doesn't track very well on iOS or Android, and often remained at 100% even as the battery life depleted, and other competing earphones do have more accurate battery tracking, but luckily the fast charge is very quick if you need to give the earbuds a top up. Now when it comes to audio quality, this is probably the area in which I was most impressed. The TrueConnect's bass response is fantastic, able to produce deep, booming bass, which is typically where earbuds of this style tend to fall short. Aided by that tight seal with the isolating ear tip, your music becomes incredibly immersive, and these have one of the best bass responses for any true wireless earphones. Fortunately, the bass doesn't overpower the other frequencies, and the sound is still clear and well detailed. I would say that the vocals do seem to be a little recessed though, and don't especially stand out. This lends itself to a relaxing, slightly warm sound signature that's comfortable to listen to for prolonged periods of time. I guess I was expecting audio more similar to the MA650 wireless, which have a brighter tone and the occasional sharp sibilant. The high end here is not the most detailed on the market, but there are no harsh S sounds, and the overall sound experience is quite pleasant. If you're looking for a pair of earphones where audio quality is a main priority, then the True Connect earbuds offer a fantastic option. If I'm being really pedantic, then I'd say that these probably don't sound quite as good as the more balanced Elite Active 65Ts from Jabra, particularly when it comes to the treble, but I'm sure many people will actually prefer the True Connect's more bassy sound. The Elite Active 65Ts have been my favourite true wireless earphones for a long time, but RHA's True Connect actually surpassed them in a few key areas. First of all, of course, it's that deep, booming bass. RHA have clearly demonstrated that you can still achieve excellent bass in the small form factor of true wireless earbuds and this is also helped massively by the tight seal formed with the ear tips. I especially like that the popular comply foam ear tips come packaged as standard, so there's a great range of ear tips to choose from. The passive noise isolation is excellent, better than the somewhat bulkier 65Ts, and this makes listening to your music a really immersive experience. I also prefer the shape of the True Connect earbuds, which are less obtrusive in your ears, and therefore much more comfortable to wear over prolonged periods of time, despite the fact that the earbuds actually weigh roughly the same. They also far exceed the 65Ts in terms of battery life, offering 20 extra hours with the charging case as opposed to Jabra's 10. The USB-C connector is not only more convenient than micro USB, but it means that the earphones can be fast charged in a shorter time too. And finally, the True Connects are also protected by a huge 3-year warranty, and with RHA's excellent customer service, you can have complete peace of mind with your purchase. In spite of all this though, the Active 65Ts still maintain their superiority in a few key areas. As I mentioned before, the 65Ts still offer objectively higher quality audio. You also have the option to change the sound profile with a custom equaliser, and with Jabra's Sound Plus app, there are infinitely more customization options compared to the True Connect earphones, which don't have a companion app. In terms of available features, the True Connect simply can't compete either. There's no motion sensor for tracking workouts, no one-touch Google Assistant or Alexa, no auto-pause for your music when removing an earbud, and no multi-device pairing. Jabra are renowned for being cool quality experts, and the 65Ts are still the best on the market when it comes to handling phone calls and cool quality. The two earbuds actually offer the same IP5 protection against water, but the 65Ts IP56 rating means that they're also protected against dust. Perhaps my favourite feature exclusive to the 65Ts though, is Jabra's hear through. The option to hear my surroundings is great, and is perhaps the feature I'd like to have seen the most with RHA's True Connect. Overall, I really like the True Connects purely for listening to music, and the comfort and battery life is really good. But in terms of customization and features, Jabra's Elite Active 65T are hard to compete against, so it would be difficult to crown RHA as the new true wireless champions. If you are looking for an alternative though, the True Connect earphones from RHA are easily one of the strongest competitors on the market. But what do you guys think about these earphones? Would you place these at the top of your true wireless list, or do you think that Jabra still hold onto their crown? Of course, let me know your favourites down in the comments section below, and also of any other earphones you'd like to see me review on the channel. If you enjoyed this video, then please show your support by giving this a thumbs up. 
Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss anything else. And be sure to check out the channel on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Inside Tech Limited. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.